It's Debbie. Welcome to Your Home, Your Happy Place. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And for all my subscribers, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I enjoy reading your comments. I love it. Thank you for doing that. And please, when you leave, don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed the video. Today, I am just going to do, I think it may be really quick video. If it's too quick, I'm going to add another room to it, but I can't tell you at this point because I haven't edited, but I started this video probably more than a month ago when our new bench arrived. And then I, I filmed an unboxing, but I don't even know if I still have it. I could have deleted it. Um, so I'll, all we're gonna do is see my front porch, which you're not gonna decorate with me too much. I did film that, but there was so little to do because I already did the um, flowers on the door. So that's all in place. And there was just a few more things to stick out here. So I'm just gonna kind of show you the front porch. But before I do that, I thought I'd show you my dress. We just had a lovely day at, um, uh, the country club where my daughter and son-in-law belong and we had um, an Easter egg hunt with the grand boys and then we had um, lunch uh, outside overlooking the lake. It was so lovely and um, so this was the dress I wore which up close you can see there's um, some gathers here crisscross. I do have it pinned. Um, and then the back has elastic right there and the border. Oh, and the little puff sleeves. So cute. It's like made out of a scarf material, I'd say. You get up here where you can see the skirt. The skirt has a ruffle on the bottom and a beautiful border. And I just really, and it's nice and full. I really, really, really love it. Oh, and I'm somebody who wears slips because that's what I do. This is a cotton one. It's already, it's made so that you can actually, if you were wearing a dress that was a little too short, you could wear that out underneath it. So, and both of these are from Amazon. So I'm gonna link them below for you. And if you're interested in a beautiful spring summer dress, um, I highly recommend it. Okay, let me turn you around and show you what I've done. Okay, we came out here so my husband could start putting the bench together, which you can see right there. Uh, and then there was these two things. They're like, what is this? Did you order something? I was just like, oh yeah, oh yeah. When we first got the idea that we were gonna refresh the lake house, we had decided to order two Adirondack chairs because they were, these were $79 each, so it's not too bad. And we we're gonna put them out there and take away the furniture because that furniture out there has cushions and animals chew on it. So, um, and animals are coming out of hibernation and it's just not, you know, you don't want people coming out to look at your house. And if you're there all the time, it's not as bad because you're out there and they don't, but if they know when you're not there. So anyway, he's gotta move these. So we're talking about what we're gonna do with them, but. And then there's a couple more things, but I think this is all organization stuff for my laundry room. So I will come back out here when he opens the box and then it's five-ish. So we're hoping you're gonna get it together before it's too late. I'm so excited to see the color. You never can tell online what it really is, you know? Here's the color. That's pretty. It's a little deeper than I thought, yeah, but I darker. do like it a lot. Good. Okay. I want to see it. Can you pull out the, if you pull those things out, we can see the back of it, I think. Well, Gotta cut it all. 
cut it off. I don't see any obvious cracks, so that's good. Ooh, it kind of has a um, antique antiqueness on it. See that dark? Do you see it? Yeah. I like that. Shows up really a lot on the camera more than it, you can kind of see it in real life. So I really like that. That's, I wasn't even looking for anything like that. It's very much like our, our porch swing. It might, be, it might be wider, though. Really pretty. You like it? Yeah. I it looks like good it. against the gray. It really does. Alrighty. Well, let me know if you need my help. Uh, I think I can get it. You think you can do it by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. While. Well, you got the rest of the evening. Okay. Okay, next time we come out, we'll have moved this out of the way. Not back to the playground, probably, but we'll get it there eventually. Oh, yeah. We'll get I it there tonight. Right at the playground. Okay. It's still got, you can see where it used to sink down. We never cleaned off the foot, feet of it. They're all muddy. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll lead you, I'll leave you to it, dear. All right. There it is, folks. Leaves and all. <laughs> really love it. It's longer, of course, than what we had. I mean, it almost looks like a four-seater, I guess, but at least a three. So I'll probably make a cushion for it eventually. Um, definitely want some pillows there for spring, and I'll have to shop the garage for a little table. I mean, the one we had could have gone there, but I'd rather find something else. I am hoping to get to my front porch this week. Today is the warmest day so far. We've been in the 20s during the day. It's not much better than that today, and it's very windy. I know at the end of the week it's going to be almost 70. I hate to wait that long to do it, but I may have to. But I just wanted to do a before, so not sure if these are going to hang here because I've got quite the decor coming for the sides. Um... And I have to do my, I have to create, <laughs> I've got my baskets for my door, but I have to create the bouquets, which I'm not, I'm not great at. I want to be great at, but I'm not. And then the new bench, so pretty. Um, I definitely have a couple pillows that I can find pillow inserts for that might look good out here. Um, and eventually, this is not going to happen right away, I feel like I want to make a cushion, a seat cushion here, because this is so substantial. I do not have any kind of table right now. Um, I would love to have a side table right there. Um, I don't want anything over here. It's way, it would become too much, but it would be nice to have a place to set a beverage if, I mean, right now it's so cold, I can't even imagine being out here. But <laughs> anyway, this is my before. And hopefully there will be an after soon. So you guys, I bought these last year thinking I was going to get to have them here at this house. Unfortunately, um, they just kept pushing back, pushing back, pushing back until I just actually moved in one weekend because I, I thought this is never going to get done. And really, it's still not done. It is still not done. And I, I can't imagine not being here since June. Um, but anyway, long, that's a long story for another time. Um, after I bought these, my daughter, I, she was like, oh, I need one of those or two of this, whatever, for her store. When she went back, this is from Hobby Lobby, by the way, uh, they were discounted yet another, I don't know, 15%. I, I don't know. She got them for a really good, hers for a really good price. She only got one, but okay. So I'm going to pop these all night. I'm going to play with them around the door. They would look really cute. Uh, alongside uh, this bench, but the problem with that is you wouldn't see that from 
outside. So we'll see. I'm just going to play with it for a while. I don't know that I'll show you my player playing or not. Oh, and here, um, I originally bought these for my other house for the sofa. And I brought them um, here and decided I will get some of my pillows downstairs and fill them up. And, you know, I really like it here. I think that'll be gorgeous. So let's play. <laughs> I like it, you guys. What do you think? This is going to be, I'm going to have to do something else on this video to make it longer. This is not going to be long enough. So here is the bench. I just think it's so pretty. It's an aged blue wood. I can't remember. I think they called it sea something, sea mist. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's, it, it was easy to put together. Um, it was from um, Overstock. I'm pretty sure we got it at Overstock.com. I can probably link it, but it'll be a big, long link because it's not an uh, affiliate link. I'll just link it for you if you're interested. And then I just got the, um, I ordered these way back in January from um, Amazon, these covers. Oh, they're two different ones. I didn't even realize it. Um, I don't remember what they were, but I feel like it was around $11 for the two. And obviously I've got a bigger pillow in that one than I do in this one. So I'm going to flip that one out in a minute. But um, yeah, those are from Amazon and they're so cute. And then 
haven't changed the rug or the flowers from um, my floral DIY day, but I did find, it doesn't hardly show, but I found that. Remember I said I was gonna look for a pick? Well, I saw that little pick and I just couldn't pass it up. I love it. Um, and then down here is what I've done on either side of the door. And so the eggs and the egg topiary um, I bought last year, but I, I would imagine they have them every year. They're probably sold out by now. It was from Hobby Lobby. Um, just love these. They make me so happy. And then I popped out my, I don't know which balls I had in my urns there, but I have like two sets two sets of two. So um, I put a bigger one in. And that's it. I'm going to back up and show you. Such a beautiful day. So the last time we were here, we had only one of the four chairs put together. So my husband finished putting those together and then the fire pit we already had, it was just out in the yard waiting for the pool to get finished, which is not done yet. So I just really thought that was a great spot. I think we might want one that's a little lower to the ground um, so that we could set drinks on it if we came out here. And we bought two gray ones. They're together. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check and see if they're in the garage or where, where he put them. We bought them for our lake house um, uh, to set out for helping to sell the house. And they actually have little wine holders, stem glass holders cut into the arms. I think they're so cute. Um, and we are so on the verge of blooming here. I'm gonna walk over here and see real quick. I think, I think I, I'm seeing. Yeah, those are flowers, I think. Are those the same? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. This is the front for an added treat because I am a little uh, low on uh, air time with this video. I'm gonna do uh, just a real quick um, little tour, and I mean little, of our powder room because I don't usually show it. I might have shown it at Christmas, but anyway, I did it for Easter. So let's see what it looks like. I love this base. Um, one of these days I'm going to pull together some of my inspiration boards to show you how I selected things for the house. But I saw this base, which is polished nickel, um, on a Pinterest. And then I, I'm i sure they had marble of some kind for the top. I, I mean, we just bought a remnant piece. And um, our sinks... Um, are the same in our master in here, which are um, Linka sinks. Now, a lot of times the Linka sinks uh, 
are round and well anyway I'm just going to show you we haven't installed it yet but I bought them because you you can get the most beautiful so this this is coming off and this will replace it and upstairs I have grates that fit in here instead but oh my gosh you guys look at that piece of jewelry and this is not an inexpensive thing but it's one of those features that to me are worth the money um it's not something i'm going to change out unless you know and somebody's gonna go oh, that's gonna be hard to clean yeah i guess we'll see how it stands in the powder room i don't know um but a toothbrush will clean it up i guess okay so over here i just have some gardenia soap which i've had for ages it's you can probably get it on Amazon I think that one that one probably came from TJ Maxx and then um, one of the cute little items I picked up years ago at that little boutique that's not in business along with the soaps Robin's egg soaps this uh, riser you've seen in my kitchen before it's a marble top from TJ Maxx and then these guys you saw them in my haul. They were from one of the boutiques that I was at. I just think they're so cute. And then on this side, we have a very old, I don't even know what where I got this or what for, um, but it's the right size for the little paper towels for drying hands. So I popped that in here. I was reluctant at the beginning. I didn't want to put things in here that were not polished nickel or silver. And I'm actually loving the contrast of popping this in here and then this. I just, I don't know, it pops for me. Um, this is just a TJ Maxx find or Home Goods find from a couple years or more ago. And I'm not sure where this is from. This candlestick and that is a uh, woodwick um, you can usually get them at um, Walmart but you can also get them on Amazon sometimes they're too much money but at, if you go to Walmart they're not it's just that they run out so and then the rest of the bathroom appointings this is from uh, I think it's called ginger the mirror it will tilt if you need it to it's, and then these were um, Kohler, and they're polished nickel, and it's like um, a pulley on the side, so you can actually make this up here come down lower if you wanted. I have no reason to do that, but I just thought they were gorgeous. I love the old-fashioned feel of the whole thing, the rounded top. Just love it. Um, I bought this. I'm not really sure. Where? But if I got it on Amazon, I'll link it. But it was, you know, custom there. You can see they put our um, initials or monogrammed it. And then this was a really pretty, probably, I mean, I hate this kind of thing, but, you know, you got to have it. So it might as well look like a piece of jewelry. And this was a very unusual piece. I love this. Um, sometimes you can find stuff like this at um, Lowe's or Home Depot, but... Um, I hadn't seen it in polished nickel, and I hadn't seen it in a good quality metal. Um, this is very, very substantial. So that's the powder room. We are going to, it's got a glass shelf on the bottom. We're going to be wallpapering. Um, again, if I get my lookbook out or my inspiration photos, I'll kind of show you the inspiration of what I've got planned in here. I just haven't committed. There for a time I was thinking about designing my own wallpaper because um, it's going to be wallpapered above and below that and then on the ceiling. And since I've got wallpaper going in here that's pretty busy, um, I was going to go with, you know, just a white and a color. It'll still have pattern, but it's not going to be, it's going to be very repetitive pattern, big, big repetitive pattern. Okay. Thank you for joining me today, you guys. It's just my pleasure to come. I'm sorry, I feel like every holiday so far I've gotten behind. And you know, it's not really my intention, of course. I wanna be bringing you very timely things, giving you time to get inspired to decorate your house, which is not happening because this week is already Easter. But if you take out the Easter and just 
be inspired for um, spring, that still works because, hey, it's just the beginning of April and we've got April and May to go through. Um, and actually, if you talk about it, it's really part of June. But um, we have the baby coming. In fact, I got a message. I just got home from a doctor's appointment in St. Louis last night. And then my daughter-in-law said she's having back pain and some little contractions this morning. And I'm like, uh Oh, <laughs> so, but she's calm. She says it's calmer or something now. So we'll see, but I still, I'm still going back this week because we're having Easter with our, um, oldest son and his family uh, this coming weekend. So I'm in and out, but I'm going to have, I think, three videos for you this week. So probably doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. I don't know. Just look for me. Uh, make sure when you um, subscribe, check for your notifications that you put all on. And that way you won't miss any. And um, we'll just, we're just going to have such a great time, you guys. I am so excited to start planting. When we went to the nursery today, I got very excited. Um, we have everything to do here. I mean, we had, we put in the most minor things. It was December. It was right before Christmas when they sodded and they put in a few things. So um, we were looking at lilacs today. I want some lilacs. I want a butterfly bush. Um, we were looking at some magnolias that, um, what else? She, she said they had another name, but I don't remember what they were. Um, I want some azaleas and I definitely want a bunch of perennial flowers. That's just one of the things I absolutely love. So, um, we're going to start probably in a week next week, as soon as Easter's over, we're going to start planting. And my husband went and filled the, um, vegetable garden, uh, I don't know, planters that we have in the back with dirt this past weekend. So we're going to start that too. And we haven't done this since our first house. We have not had a garden since then, a vegetable garden. So I'm very excited to plant, he's gonna find out that he's gonna have to do more than that because our very first one, which was small, um, I did cucumbers and tomatoes and I don't remember, probably peppers. And then I did some pumpkins in it too. And I might've done watermelon, I don't know. I like some of the big viney things. So we may need another one or two so I can plant some of those real fun things. I, I wanna have some pumpkins for fall. I really, really do. So, cause with the grandkids living so close, it'll be so great for them to come and pick a pumpkin out of Debbie and Pop's garden. And maybe all my grandkids will come. I'll make sure I plant enough for all of them and we'll see. Okay, I'm just getting off. It was so nice to speak with you guys. I love you. I love seeing you. And don't forget to press the like, subscribe, share, and comment. I will see you very soon at your home, your happy place. Bye-bye.